what's going on guys we are here working on a little old coleman these evcon units back in the day when coleman was kind of a beast crazy thing is this is the second unit exactly like this i've worked on today the first one was a heat pump but the same identical unit same make model year and all that kind of good stuff and this one here wasn't turning the compressor over and the start capacitor was dead on it it was reading zero so i've taken it out of the circuit it's strapped in here with the run capacitor the potential relays right up here so i've just taken all the wires off of that we're going to get rid of that we are going to put our spp6 super boost onto our run capacitor and hook it in there and just get by with that this old unit this is all it's going to need it just needs to get it by for a while longer and it is what it is we don't need to go and get no fancy hard start kits for this thing uh some of you guys were asking about the se 480 how quick it was to respond on a capacitor uh this one is very fast and very accurate on run capacitors and start capacitors some meters don't do that good of a job on start capacitors for some reason they don't register accurate readings it's it's kind of crazy they'll be way off uh, but this is one meter um, all field piece meters that i've ever had did a very good job on start capacitors also so we're just going to kind of hook this thing up here if i can get everything into one shot you'll see how quick it is if we can clamp this on here i may or may not be able to do it yeah i don't know if i can get it with one hand okay there it is and there's the reading run capacitors are even faster than that that just took like an extra second because it is a much higher microfarad but we're reading 136 on this one the other start capacitor was completely dead so give me just a minute we're going to hook this thing in here we're going to try to make it look as pretty as we can and then we're going to take an inrush current on startup on this thing i'll be right back all right you guys so we've got it in there most of the way for now we'll tidy it up a little bit more when we're done but for now i'm going to go ahead and hook on to my black common wire there I have the meter set to volts and amps and I have pushed the inrush button one time over here to activate inrush. The decimal point is in the middle because I'm assuming this is going to pull somewhere under 100 amps. You can see my panel information is gone. So I don't really have any kind of reading to go by here, but this unit should probably pull under 100 amps on these field piece meters if you're pulling above 100 amps and you're going to be up there you know like 154 or something like that you need to go ahead and hit the inrush button a second time move that decimal all the way over to the right and then you can take a much higher reading but we'll go ahead and give this a try for now we'll see what she starts up at and see if we can get this baby going there we go we pulled 56 so that is pretty good I'd say we're doing all right there all right so that should take care of this one we'll go ahead and tidy it up a little bit more the run capacitor was actually okay a good old GE with that blue and white label. Those things were tough. But it should live to fight another day. The refrigerant charge was actually okay on it through the gauges on it. Checked it out. So the old F-Con will keep it going. I might grab this hose over here and give that coal a little wash real quick. Knock some of the dirt off of it for him. But anyway, guys, that's it for this one. 
leave a comment below like and subscribe and i will catch you next time see you